If you've got solar on your house or have considered it, you know there are a few hurdles out there. First of all, it can be a complicated process. Second of all, it can add a lot of cost to what would otherwise just be a roof. And third, them things are ugly, at least if you get the traditional rack mount panels. This panel seeks to fix all of those headaches. It's called Timberline Solar from GAF Energy, a sister company to the largest maker of roofing shingles. But this one is a shingle that also has solar built in and there's not much to it. It's a wafer of new tech. I'm here at the factory to find out what it can really deliver. Timberline Solar is a long, narrow piece of thermoplastic with a solar panel bonded onto the top of it, all sealed in a waterproof layer. Their benchmark isn't so much other solar shingles like Tesla's as much as just plain shingles. I mean, this doesn't look like anything most people are thinking of when they think solar sticking up on these little legs. I agree. This was meant to be a roofing shingle that happened to produce electricity. So it needed to look, it needed to feel, it needed to integrate, it needed to lay flush to the decking just like a roofing shingle. And I think we've accomplished that. Oh yeah, right? it has a different, a different sheen than the shingles around it, but in terms of height, yeah. and really in terms of texture, it's pretty close to roofing. Absolutely. The integration of the roof was central to our product thesis, right? We needed to make sure that this could be installed like a roof, integrate like a roof, and therefore have the same waterproofing that's been tried and true for 138 years. Okay, right? so that's the key thing is you have roofers install this. Correct. And is it literally the same technique that they use today? They're up there with nail guns, yep. sweating it out in the beastly, beastly sun. Yep. And that's how they put this in? Absolutely. And so being able to install it with the same labor, the same guys, the same people on a roof using just the nail gun yeah. to install it. Yeah, your nailing strip right here, right? Was critical. This yeah. nailing strip, right? Biggest nailing strip, just like a shingle allows them to hit this and move on to the next one, right? Solar's been around for a long time, roofing's been around for way longer, and if we could provide a product that looked like a roof, felt like a roof, installed like a roof, provided energy for those homeowners, there was a giant opportunity and in the market. And the giant opportunity actually comes in something very small. If, I, if we take a look at this, this is the height of the roof, yep. of the solar system Absolutely. on the roof is, is this thickness. Yeah. Let me do you one better, yeah. right? Just take a look at this. I would challenge anybody to talk about a solar panel that you can hold up with two hands. Oh, and that's oh this yeah, thing. right. Just the, yeah, the weight. Right, just and the it's weight. Wafer thin. It's wafer thin. Yeah. Right? You need to get familiarity with this. How are you going to get people to look at this and say, okay, that is an acceptable new way to do things? Because we're coming from a channel of tried and true roofers, yeah. right? This is familiar. This is safe for them. They know how to talk about this. Yeah. They can really stand behind the waterproofing and the warranty well, that's and the, the key, protection when you get solar GAF. put on and then you have someone else who did the roof yep. and they both guarantee it won't leak, that means neither will guarantee it won't leak because they're going to point at each other when there's a leak. And so this pairs along with our GAF roofing shingles um, and therefore gives the security for a homeowner that there's one company that stands behind that warranty. Can you cover and get the same amount of power per, I don't know, square foot as a traditional rack mount system? Yeah, so for uh, this product here, we're about in the 14 and a half watts per square foot. Okay. That's the way that we like to talk about power density. All right. And that's equivalent to your traditional kind of bolt-on solar panel. Okay. However, you can see here, the size and shape of this allows us to fit in a lot smaller areas than your traditional panel, which means on a given roof, we can cover more square footage to get that customer more energy. Because really, this is, this is the business part This is here. the business part, right? Yeah. So you've got more divisible parts you can tuck in here and there and exactly. utilize the roof a little better. Exactly. So we can uh, fill okay. the roof more fully. And because it's walkable, we can go in areas it's where walkable. it's walkable. Again, purpose built. This is a roofing shingle. It just so happens to provide uh, uh, And this won't energy. break. This won't break. The reason why we have R&D and manufacturing here in the U.S., here in California, is because we needed to design from the ground up. This is purpose built to be a roofing shingle, to be stood on, reliable for 25 plus years, and to handle all the elemental conditions that a roof would need to be put through. Uh, for the solar geeks out there, they're gonna to wanna to know about your wiring and inverter yep. technology. That's just a connection stack over there. What Correct. does that go to? So uh, all of our connections go straight up the roof, and then okay, all- Okay, so if this was on a roof, it would be, it'd be like so. Yep. And they'd be layering up. Stack all the way up. Okay, and then these all kind of daisy chain together? Exactly, which provides a very, very easy 
um, uh, pinpointing if you ever need to get to these wires, right? So from oh, a serviceability, yeah. from a maintenance standpoint, something. they're not under something, you're not ripping up a bunch of stuff to check to whether or not uh, there's an issue with your wiring. Okay. And then all of these go and connect at the top and then land into a central inverter that's on the side of the home. Another way to okay, make sure that- that's what they call a string inverter? That's what they call a string inverter. Okay, so everything goes to one inverter as opposed to, as opposed to using micro inverters at each panel. It's a little tricky to define a standard solar panel to compare to, but I compared to a system I recently installed that uses rather premium Panasonic rack mount panels. You can see a difference in watts per square foot, but Timberline Solar might counter that with its ability to cover more roof and not have to leave these vacant walking areas that rack mount systems require. You also want to compare the temperature coefficient when you shop. This is the degree to which a solar panel loses output for every degree above 77 Fahrenheit. And generally, all panels lose output as they age, steeply in year one, and then gradually over time down to a guaranteed minimum at the end of their warranted life. Less quantitative benefits are the fact that you can walk on Timberline Solar and it sits down flat like a roof shingle. Okay, last question, of course, everyone's asking, what does it cost? Our design, again, is focused entirely on cost to make sure that we are cost competitive with doing a new roof and bolt-on solar without all the long-term problems that you might have with that uh, bolt-on solar okay, system. Okay, so this should come in at about the price of a new roof and a rack mount solar Absolutely. system. Absolutely, exactly. Not a premium to that, but definitely a premium to just a roof. Yes. You haven't got the price down there yet. Do you think in the future you can get this down to the price of just roofing? That is our goal. At the end of the day... Because that would be amazing to have basically free solar. Yeah, our mission is energy from every roof, right? Yeah. We didn't say energy from every roof where there's a homeowner who can afford it. Yeah, right. It's That's energy a different from story. every roof. That's right? a different story, right. And so we want to target the ability to get every customer who has a shingle roof today or who wants a shingle roof to be able to produce energy. Okay, here's a house in Silicon Valley where they're actually doing an install of Timberline Solar, and this would be one of the first in the country. Let's take a look at how it's going. You've gone from being a roofer to a solar installer doing what you've always done, right? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. And so pretty much GAF has provided us with material that has allowed us to use our existing tools to nail down solar in a manner that is similar to shingles. Now when you're done laying them out, then I see uh, you, you, you pull in some wiring, you put that under some covers. Yeah, a fiberglass composite cover goes on top of each of the wire harnesses and then everything drops in. And I don't see any of these on the job site. So these these, these are what I sell <laughs> right. against. This is this is my competition right here. This is your competition in so, one piece of metal. That is a giant lag bolt. Traditional solar actually drives through the existing shingles, through the plywood, skip sheathing if they have it, different framing designs, into a two by four rafter, which is an inch and three quarters thick. And they're trying to drop into the center of And that. you got to hit that. Or right you, in the center. Or it's an ugly miss, especially if it's a cathedral ceiling. So you can miss completely. You can crack the rafter. You can, you can drive it in perfectly. The odds of missing greatly increase with traditional panel systems compared to what we use because we use nails. The reason why they use these is because of the Bernoulli effect. As wind travels under and over that panel, it creates loft. So it, they, they have to use these to keep those panels on your roof. That's why they're so damn long. That's the reason why they're so long, so thick. But over time, that's going to stress your house, stress your framing, stress that flashing. It's going to cause a leak if they missed or cracked or did something wrong and didn't perfectly hit that two by four. Where our system, they've built out the concerns with a lot of these. So no debris gets underneath these, no rodents get underneath these, no wind uplift problem. Repairability is much simpler with any of these. Any roofer can actually come out here and fix my roof with the system. Well, today's installation, we just started the solar today. We'll be finished today. Um, really? One day? Yeah, one day. It's a one day process to do the solar portion of the roof. I mean, it's going to take us four days all together to do all of the roof and custom metal work and stone work and gutter sure. work that we did within the project. Um, but this is a relatively simple product where we used to do the traditional systems. We've done the building integrated versions. We've done the tile building integrated versions. They all take longer. How will this trigger a different conversation when someone says, oh, should I do solar? 
just going from waterproof system to waterproof system. Yeah, oh, that's a lateral, right? Yeah. And I already so, got it. I'm keeping water out of my roof. What else can you do for me? Yeah, I want a roof with a benefit. And so this is that roof with a benefit, and we've just made it simpler. That simpler story was a big deal to John Jewell, the owner of this home. Well, talking to solar vendors, yeah, they weren't talking to roofers. Roofers, they weren't talking to solar vendors, and they were all saying, you know, come back when the other one's done. Here you got the uh, solar producing part of it is actually watertight too, and it's actually the roofing product. And so I like the fact that it's not two things in two pieces, and the fact that they've been able to fuse those together and be able to come up with a single solution for it, I think is pretty good. So let's say this exact kind of roof didn't exist. What would you have done instead? I probably would have not done solar. So when I did look at these and realized they blended in so much better and they were so much less obvious, if you will, it, it kind of sold me right there. GAF Energy will know it's hard to reinvent residential solar. Its previous effort, DecoTech, tried to do so with relatively minor improvements in appearance and installation. You've probably never seen one in your neighborhood. Timberline solar is a radical change, but seems rooted in how average homeowners will make a solar decision and whose advice they'll want. The bar for success is actually rather low. To improve the fewer than 10% of U.S. homes that get solar when getting a new roof.